Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to code some of these buttons up here so you can make your website a functional website. Let's go down to the timeline and look exactly what I've done so far. If you watched my last movie, I explained why you need to set up your timeline in this fashion. I'm just going to quickly go over it. I have my action script layer locked, my menu layer locked. In my menu layer, what I have inside of it is just a simple text field and a logo. Next I have the pages layer. In the pages layer, I have a movie clip which has three frames. I'll double click to go inside of that movie clip. And each frame has different content. Last but not least, we have a background. In the background, this is where I would plant all my designs. Right now the only design on this simple website is this blue menu layer, whatever you call it, I don't know. Now we want to start to code it. And how we're going to code it, we first would think that it would be a good idea to create a button. But that's not how we're going to do it. Because we're using ActionScript 3, we want to use a different approach. We want to use movie clips and set those movie clips to button mode. The reason why we want to use movie clips instead of buttons is because movie clips have the ability to take on dynamic uh, variables. And that will allow us to code less. Because one of the biggest problems in ActionScript 3 is that the development time takes a little longer because there's more code to write. And unless you've created a multitude of classes, uh, you're not, it's not going to be as fast as ActionScript 2. So we're here to shatter that glass thing. Let's just go to Insert, New Symbol, Movie Clip, and we'll call it Button. B-U, you know, Buttons. There we go. Press OK. And now it should take us to a blank uh, stage with nothing on it but a uh, crosshair. I'm just going to hold shift and create that square. V, select it. Now the trick to this is that we want to we want to make sure it's aligned. So go to your align tool. If you don't know where your align tool is, just go to window and you'll find all your things that you're missing. And uh, we're going to center it horizontally and vertically. There we go. Make sure that two stage is selected. Alright, now we're pretty much done. The only thing is, is uh, we want to make a button. If we make this button black, we won't be able to see it. So what we are going to do, since we're going to layer it over the images or the text, we want to make this a clear button. And the way to do that is by going to black. And going back into the black color, we turn the alpha down to zero. Why not use like something like white and turning that color down is that alpha down to zero? Why not any color? Well I found that using black it doesn't show up opposed to any other color if you turn the alpha down to zero for some reason it shows up. Don't know why. Alright. Now we have our button and uh, we're ready to almost go. Just one thing I want to remind you of. I'm going to unlock the pages layer select the pages and we want to make sure that our pages has an instance name so we can communicate it with a communicate with it using action script and the instance name I'm gonna call it um, pages pages press the enter and now it's named pages now I'll be able to communicate via action script alright now we're pretty much done but we want to go back inside of the menu layer unlock that and go, we see that there are three items that we can uh, use. We're going to go to the library, open up the library, and then the buttons, we're going to drag out one of the buttons. Button. All right. Now, we can't see this, which um, can be quite annoying, but it'll be okay. I mean, as long as you keep track of the one that you just put out on screen. Now, um, sizing it up to the proper size, what you want to do is hold the Alt key. See, right now it's just doing to the center. If you hold Alt, it won't do that. It'll hold steady to there. So that's pretty much, that's it. And we want to do this three times um, over each of these words. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key and drag over. Now that we're done with that, let's name these buttons. Selecting a button, then going to the properties, giving an instance name. I'm going to call it home underscore btn. Select it again, properties, vid, underscore, btn. Go to properties again, selecting the next button, and go to, I'm going to name it down, 
underscore btn. Now I'm able to code everything inside of this movie clip. Um, nothing's going to happen now. They're not active. And also, I'm going to show you this really quickly. I'm just going to test this movie holding control enter. Now you'll see that the movie is just running through my content and it's not stopping. The reason is that the reason for that is because we haven't given it any code. We have to tell we have to tell pages to stop at the beginning. So what we're going to do for the rest of this movie is we're going to go into the action script and start coding this. All right. First line of code that we want to write is pages dot stop open parentheses close parentheses semicolon alright and, and make sure that you have the action script 3 layer selected and when you do you'll see that you have a little a there when you start to write your script okay moving on now we need to make a function that creates buttons so we're gonna write function make button and we're going to give it a few items. We're going to give it uh, a movie clip. We call it MC. And we want to data type it to movie clip, of course, because that's what we're putting in there. Put a comma, and then we want to put num, which will be a integer. And that integer will be the frame that we go to when um, when we click on the button. We also want to data type. We want to make the re return value void because uh, this is not returning anything. It's just standalone create function. Alright, so the first thing we need to type is MC, which will represent every single uh, movie clip that we created, meaning the buttons. So MC dot add event listener and we want to add a mouse event, MOU And the type of mouse event we want to add is a click mouse event. We also want to tell what function. What is the function name? The listener. The, the, the function listener. And that will be, uh, let's write on click. Alright, good. And we'll write mode equals true. So now these, now these movie clips will act as a button. We also want to say mc dot num is going to be equal to the num that we set. All right. Now we have everything set up. So anytime we want to make a button, it's right there, and that's pretty much it. The only thing left is now we have to make an on click um, function. So function on click is e mouse event. And we want to avoid this also. Open parentheses, close parentheses. Um, now we want to write in the function of what is going to happen when you click on this, uh, when you click on each of these frames. So what's going to happen is, uh, of course, we want the pages to go to a certain frame. So we'll say pages dot go to stop, and we have to tell it what to stop at. Now this e up here is important because this E represents the uh, the movie clip that we're using. So we'll E dot target so the events target which is going to be the names of all the buttons and we're gonna say dot num which is the number that we set. So what's gonna happen now is that it's gonna go to and stop to whatever that dot num inside of the uh, that we set in this that function above. Next we are going to so now we write make button and we need to name the MC which the first one I made is home underscore BTN and we want to tell it what frame to go to. We want it to go to frame one and it's that simple. Now I want to make another button and of course it was vids vid make button. I'm just going to copy and paste and rename it vid vid and make that to the second frame. And I could just paste it again down btn and we want to go to the third frame. So everything seems to be in order. Everything seems to be functioning. Well, let's try it out. Cross our fingers. We're going to put control enter. 
Alright, great. Now we have our movie clip working. It's not running through it because we told it to stop in the beginning. When we go to home, it goes to home, of course. When you go to videos, oh, there it goes. It goes to video. And when you go to downloads, it goes to the downloads page. So this is really cool. Really, um, and the thing is, of course, when you're making buttons, you're going to have a lot more buttons than what I've created. I only made three. And you can see that it's not a lot of lines of code. It may be... I think it's even less code than if you were to use um, ActionScript too. So this is an easy way of making sure that you use your movie clips. So thanks for watching another exciting episode of On Enter Flash. I know I went a little fast, but uh, you know time is not on my side. If you really like these tutorials, make sure that you subscribe and go to my website, onenterflash.blogspot.com. And uh, thanks a lot.